How did you get involved in it? I, I got an email, the Choirs of Purpose contacted my management company back in October and they said, look, we've got this amazing project, the album's coming out, uh, all the choirs are singing on the album and we'd like you to sing with MND Scotland Motor Neuron Disease on their song Clouds, which of course I jumped at the chance to do. Is that look... Scottish for clouds? Yeah, clouds. Clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me anything with R's in them. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then it kind of went from singing on the album track uh, to singing on the single because of course Sir Paul McCartney has been so generous and waived all the rights and given it his full blessing. So the choir thought, let's go for it. What do we have to lose? And, and that was released on the 24th of November. Yeah, it came out on Friday there. But the full album, Stand Together, is released on the 15th, 15th of December. December. See how yeah. I'm getting all this in for you, Michelle. Oh, I'm on your side. <laughs> I'll slip you that 20 when we <laughs> last All right, make you it 25. Choirs. Did you start off your career singing? I did. I was, when I was about five years old, I joined our local uh, church choir, uh, 10.30 choir around there, and kind of always just sang with them and really enjoyed it and really enjoyed but then we came oh, from that kind of sound than a but, choir. I know but we came from that kind of family where everyone sang you know mm. there was a cute to get up to our fireplace to sing at family parties yeah. you know there was no needing to ask anyone you know it was just we always kind of sang so it's always just been part of my life I never thought I would make any sort of career out of it but it, it feels like only yesterday that you'd won pop idol and what an absolute beautiful voice Obviously, you're really big in Scotland. You do so much, don't you, for sort of radio and TV? I do. They let me on TV. Up there. <laughs> it's amazing and radio. It's, it's amazing. They still let me. Are you still singing though, as well? Yeah. Well, we do. I do uh, one woman shows now. So we do the Edinburgh Festival every yeah. year. And you know, every time I'm booked to do a big event, they'll always say, "But you will sing at the end, won't you?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course I'll do." So singing's very much still been a part of my life. You know, I'm not in the charts or anything, but. But you sang for the Pope. I did sing for the Pope myself and Susan Boyle uh, when the. Pope came along in 2010. My mother was so proud. This oh, was it. I'd oh, made it. Yeah, I, was like, of your career. Oh, I was in the front, front page of the Catholic Observer. Nothing else mattered after that. My mum's got it framed up in the wall, you know, because we sang. Seeing that footage there of you, the moment that you won. I've been so lucky the last 14 years, but it's, it's all about... You know, and maybe not letting it go to your head. Cause I think it's quite difficult. It's a long corridor. Mm. It's a very long corridor. Yeah. And when I did the show 13, you know, 14 years ago, there was no social media. You know, there was no Sky Plus in it or anything yeah. like that. You just, it was so much in its infancy then, and it's you know evolved so much. But I think the one thing I would say is it is such a wonderful opportunity to have and be kind to people and treat people you want the way yeah. you want to be treated yourself and. It will maybe give you the longevity that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm dazzled by this. Oh I'm, my! Oh my! I literally keep going. Oh, 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 congratulations! I got congratulations. Finally, Harry somebody Norman. put a ring on oh. it. Michelle's wedding in great detail. Oh, you, I was so impressed by the wedding. I knew so exactly impressed. where she got married. I knew the hotel the guests stayed in. Like like have you been stalking her? <laughs> I'm not stalking her, but that part of Scotland, Malig, and uh, that part of the Highlands oh. is so beautiful. Uh, well, you Stunning. know it, you know, and not a lot of people do not. I know, look at us. Oh, you've got the same earrings? I know, on. these are my wedding earrings oh. I wore. I didn't even read it. Oh. My mum my saw the pictures, like, there's an awful lot of you tell kissing. Them, uh, <laughs> tell them about going on the train to your uh, wedding. It's so fabulous. So we, uh, we decided to go up and get married in a part of Scotland called Malig, in the west coast of Scotland. It was the West Highland Hotel and we were getting married in Glenfinnan. But it's six hours on the train, so I had went to Scotrail and said, look, can we buy a couple of carriages? Because I know what my crowd are like going up. And I thought, I don't want any random American tourists bumping into my family on the way up thinking this is the way people travel in Scotland. <laughs> because one of my friends had got a, one of these kind of drinks trolleys off a mate that was a flight attendant and filled it. So they were drinking for six hours on the train up. I so when, been on that. Yeah, when, yeah. when they arrived at Nimalig, this beautiful, picturesque little fishing village, it was like apocalypse now, you know, because <laughs> they, they were there for a three-day Highland Hooli, but it was, it's a gorgeous part of the world. We were so lucky and it was so private as well. being kind, you know, in this industry, but people haven't always been kind to you, have they? And how have you dealt with that? Well, you know, you're not... You know, you're not a naive enough to think you're a size 20 plus woman. You know, you're not going to go on telly and no one's going to notice that you are a big, heavy girl. So I think the thing is, is that, look, you can never control what people think of you. It doesn't matter. You can be the thinnest person in the world. You can be the most beautiful person in the world. You cannot control how other people view you and what they're going to say, especially on social media. So you just kind of think, what's the, you know, what's the point? People are always going to have their opinions and you just need to let it go kind of thing. And, there's, you know, I've never really... I mean, there's been some hurtful stuff, but all in all, I've got a great life, you know. I love... I've got my family, I'm married, I've got my wee career in Scotland and... 
I suppose I just focus on the positives. Focus on the positives, yeah. What else can you do? Well done. In social media now, or do you just turn your back on it? I do. No, I, to I totally. I mean, I love social media. You know, I, I, I'm on the Twitter and the Facebook, and I've just yeah. uh, just discovered Instagram. I'm a wee bit behind. You know, some mornings you'll wake up on a Sunday morning when people have maybe had a wee drink in the middle of the night and they want to tell you how much they hate you and everything. You're like, morning, <laughs> happy Sunday. <laughs> what happened last night? <laughs> no, I love social media. It's a way to keep in touch with friends and family, and I like a good nosy as well. There's nothing better than going on Twitter on a yeah. Sunday morning to see who has been having a wee spat the night before. So I'm very nosy. Quickly, what are you doing for Christmas? So Christmas, I've got Michelle McManus's Winter Wonderland happening uh, in the Mitchell Theatre. It's comedy, and I'm singing my big choir as well, and I'll spend it with my family. Oh, oh well, well, Michelle, brilliant. it's so great to see you again. It's thank about time you. You, were, you were back. Uh, thank thank you. you for joining. Good luck with the single Thank and you the so album. much. Michelle thank you so much. <laughs>